Five distinct tones provide greater audible target identification than on previous Garrett detectors. here guys these are common finds that I find on the beach when I go metal detecting so I thought I'll take some out of my pot and let's bury them in the ground and see how this copes with these signals on the beach so to save time because I actually want to do some real detecting with this thing today so to save time I'm just going to dig one hole and we'll try them each separately and we'll see what numbers we get and what targets it comes in at All right, first thing I'm gonna drop in is a bullet, as this is the most common find for me on the beaches, so let's see what these numbers come in at. And plonk that in the hole, keep it in a bag so it's easier to get out, so we've got quite a few things to test. Just cover that back up. And what you're seeing now is what I'm gonna do with every single one of these targets. I just won't film all of them, obviously, because you don't wanna see that every two minutes. All right, so the target's in the ground. Let's turn the machine on. I'll keep the headphones off so you can all hear what we're doing. Yeah, that's a nice clear reading for me. Oh yeah, that's a clear, clear reading to me and something I would definitely be digging. And then the depth is at the max there on the screen. So I know there's something there. Let's see how it reacts if I kick away a little bit of the topsoil, or sand in this case. See if we get a different change in tone. Yeah, you definitely know that there is something there that you are going to be digging. It's done. Next up, we'll do the pound coin. See how that flares up. Plonk it in the same hole. Cover it up. But that is a nice solid tone that you would dig all day long. To make this test fair, I'm going to keep it all the same. We'll have it open on zero. I'll keep the iron audio on. I'm going to ground balance it here on this bit here. Pump it up and down a few times until it sounds quiet and stable. Then let go. That ground balanced at nine. Sensitivity is two off the top. We're going to keep it like that because that is how the machine comes when you first turn it on. So we're going to go keep the volume full. We'll keep the iron audio. I'll tell you what, the volume goes up to eight. So let's just put that at four, halfway. Obviously we're doing a multi-salt test, so we're gonna keep it in multi-salt. So we're ready to go, and them settings are the settings I'm gonna use for every single one of these targets, so we'll keep the test fair. Next we'll do a 50p, plonk that in the bag. Yep, I'll be digging that 50p all day long. Yep, that's a nice 50p in there. Thank you very much. Next up, we've got the two pound coin. If you're lucky enough to find one of them. Oh yeah. No mistaking there is a two pound coin for me down there. Thank you very much. Nice. 10 pence coin. Oh, nice. Thank you. 10 P reading coming in. Nice clear signals. 60, 61. Nice. Your modern penny. Penny tone. It's bouncing around a little bit there actually, but definitely got my attention. A very common find on the beach is a 20 pence piece. Give that one a go. Nice 20p tone. Yep, we're gonna be digging them all day long. Bugger, it's a two pence coin. Comes in a lot. Um, and if you're wondering why these are green and tatty guys, it's because, like I said before, these are coins that I've previously found before. A 2p. Nice, crisp, clear. Unfortunately, I am going to be digging lots of them. Five pence coin. Little buggers. Always popping up on the beach, they are. Yeah, now five p's have got the uh, iron core, haven't they? So... 
that is why that is doing that to the five Ps. But it has my attention, and if I was having a bad day, I'd probably investigate that and give that a dig. But true testing on my channel, guys. No messing about. Right, let's move on to the pre-decimal coins, which you can find quite a lot of on the beaches. This is an old one penny, George V. Give that one a go, see what reading we get on that. Nice speedboat coming past, waving. Let's give them a wave and see if they wave back. Hey, we've got a wave. Hey. <laughs> right, see how the big one penny does, guys. These targets are all roughly about, I'd say between four to six inches deep. And that is what you want to hear. An old pre-decimal one penny. Lovely, solid, crisp, clear tones on the beach. Beautiful. All right, let's try the half penny next. Very, very similar to the penny. Nice and solid, crisp tone. It is showing the depth that it is about where I said, four inches, six inches we've got there. That's assuming that this depth gauge is in inches, by the way, because it doesn't actually say inches or centimeters, I've just noticed. So you're a bit confused as to how deep that is. Hmm, that's something to note. A little farthing. Hopefully speeding through this now. This is a farthing. Again, same scenario. It would make me stop and dig it. Lovely clear tones, I've got to say. And look, I'm waving it around. Yeah, you can't argue with it, it's brilliant. There's no chatter. A threatly bit, the old brass one. Not very brassy anymore. Again, I'm sure my mound's getting higher and higher and higher. And it is showing that I am a bit deeper. It's got four bars of depth now, which is showing I am buried a little bit deeper than I was a minute ago, but that's a brass far, uh, no, a brass fretman's coming in again at the 70s and you'd dig it all day long, wouldn't you? Nice. Try an old round pound, because they do keep coming up on the beaches quite a lot, so we'll give that one a go. Again, lovely, crisp, clear tones in the 70s. You'd definitely be digging an old little battered sixpence we'll give that one a go and there you have it there's a nice lovely sixpence again free on the depth lovely crisp tone you are not going to be missing that yes you notice there's five tones with this machine as well so that's all something to learn and the last coin i brought with me today for all my american friends is a um <laughs> you can see how much I find these coins. This one's actually a five cents coin. Um, yeah, don't know if you've got any slang terms for that, but we'll put it in the bag and we'll see what that reading that comes in at. An American coin on UK beach is reading in on the Garrett Ace Apex at a nice 55. So I would be digging that. We've got to try out these common little buttons, haven't we? Right, it'll be interesting to see how this button comes in. There's not a lot to it. Oh, wow. Yep, I can safely say if there's buttons here, I'm going to be finding them. Beautiful. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. On to different stuff now. This is a musket ball. One of my favourite finds on the beach. I love finding these. We're getting 85... 85.87 on the lead musket ball. Definitely something that I'm going to be digging. And this time we've got a free ringer bullet. We'll give that one a go and see how that comes in. Yeah, I suspected you're going to be digging that. And it's picking it up nice and clear. Lead fishing weight. I have no doubt that this is going to pick up a lead fishing weight, no problem. And yes, look at them high, crisp numbers. Not going to miss any fishing weights then. Uh, this time is a little silver ring that I once found. So we'll give that a go and see what numbers we get with that. Right, this nice silver ring 
Let's see if this comes in. It's quite a thin ring, so I'll be interested to see. Wow. Yeah, so it's not as solid as the coins are, but you can definitely tell that there's a ring there. If you can hear this iron, this this horrible iron that's around, that's because, don't forget, I've got the iron audio on and it's open to absolutely everything, guys. It's the fairest test you can do. And that is the tone that you're getting for a silver ring. And you are not gonna walk by without digging, which pleases me somewhat. And this time we've got, it's a white gold ring. Also a find from mine on the beach. All right, I've put this in probably about seven inches or so, guys, and I've laid it flat, this white gold ring. Um, so it's a really thin edge, so we'll see how it picks it up, or if it picks it up at all. I'm hoping it does, obviously. It's a white gold ring. Ah. Oh. Yep. And there you go, there's the depth. And there's the number you're getting on a white gold ring that's about seven to eight inches down on its side. Oh, laying flat, sorry, with the fin size picking up. And you ain't not going to be uh, walking by without putting a bit of gold on your finger at the end of the day. Super job. And finally, guys, we are going to finish the test with this little bit of silver jewellery that I once found. Let's uh, hope that this really does ping, and it does, guys. You can't argue with that. Nice, crisp, 85, 86. And look at the depth, guys. Again, this last target, I've put it as... Put it down quite deep because we don't want to be missing things like this and you are not going to be missing a screaming target like that lovely look at the state of this bag <laughs> easier recovery though wish all wish all targets came in a bag because that concludes the test lovely old job right let's get some real detecting done whoop, whoop.